If you are in a question and you see them talk about number density, this is N, by the way, and you see diameter, D, hmm, and you see drift speed, oh, you should straight away think of that equation I equals to nav Q or nave or whatever. It's the same thing. Like. So NAVQ or ANVQ, NAVE, you will see this in the front page of every exam booklet. So make sure you know what the equation is. So this is probably the drift velocity kind of question. So what is the average drift speed of the free electrons in the wire when the current in the wire is 0.57 amps? Okay, so we pretty much have all the information given to us, right? That's very nice of them. <laughs> so what's happening is you have a conductor, like something like this, and you have a current coming in and current coming out. But if you really zoom in inside, you will see all these mini negative negative charge carriers that are just drifting along moving at a certain velocity that's why i call it drift velocity or drift speed and it really depends on the diameter or say the cross-section area and the number density of the electrons so number density means in this sample of copper one meter cube of copper how many free electrons will there be so it really depends on the material copper but anyway let's get to the calculation shall we so V will be I over NAE. E is the charge of an electron. So I'm going to plug in all my values here carefully to make sure there's no mistake. 0 0.57 amps. Number density, 8 times 10 to the 28 meter cube. Per meter cube. It's in SI, SI unit, so that's very nice. Area. Oh, what's area? Area of a cylinder, you need to know that the area here is pi r square or pi d square over 4. Both also can, la, up to you. So pi, let's put the 4 up here. Pi d square. So d is 0 0.42 times 10 to the negative 3 square. There we go. Oh, forgot the e. Hiya, why so long one? Okay, so... E is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Wow. That was a very long thing to read out. Okay, let's calculate. And I get about 3.2 times 10 to the negative 4 on my calculator. My good old fancy calculator. So this is velocity. Okay, so velocity should be meters per second. So if you look at the answers, 3.2, 3.2, ah yeah, this one correct lah. The rest is not correct. Okay, so be very careful when you're doing this. Just, it's kind of still okay. Just make sure you know to plug in the correct values, convert everything, and area, diameter, what's the formula. Okay, so that is all for this question. I will see you in the next one. Next video, next question.